from the Spina Bifida Sequencing Consortium directed by Dr. Gleason at the University of California, San Diego, we are excited to share our groundbreaking research on genetic discoveries in myelomeningocele, also known as Spina Bifida. This study explores how genetics plays a role in Spina Bifida and what that means for families, whether you are a parent, caregiver, or impacted by Spina Bifida. Before we dive into the genetics, let's take a step back. What exactly is spina bifida? Spina bifida happens when the neural tube, which eventually forms the brain and spine, doesn't close properly during early pregnancy. This occurs before most women even know that they are pregnant and often requires surgery shortly after or even before birth. Although people with spina bifida have a wide range of symptoms, it often leads to challenges like mobility issues, hydrocephalus, and other health issues requiring medical care. For years, doctors have known that folic acid helps prevent some cases, but that is not the whole story. Many families who took folic acid and preventative measures still have a child with spina bifida. That's why scientists suspect spina bifida is a complex condition influenced by both the environment and genetics. To uncover the genetic causes of spina bifida, we brought together a global research team made up of organizations, clinicians, and other experts from over 12 countries. This effort is now known as the Spina Bifida Sequencing Consortium. With the help from physicians around the world, we collected DNA from 851 families where a child had spina bifida, specifically the more severe form known as myelomeningocele. We focused on something called de novo mutations, or DNMs, which are random genetic changes that appear in a child's DNA but are not found in their parents. These mutations can sometimes cause conditions like spina bifida. By analyzing these DNA samples, we searched for patterns or genes that might be affecting neural tube development. We found that about 20% of children with spina bifida have these DNMs, and about 30% of those mutations likely contribute directly to the condition. Many of these mutations affect genes involved in important processes like how cells interact with each other during early fetal development. One exciting result was that we identified 187 genes linked to spina bifida, many of which are connected through biological networks. These networks control processes critical in forming the neural tube during pregnancy. We even tested some of these mutations in laboratory models like frogs to see how they affect development. All the mutations tested interfered with the neural tube closure, helping us pinpoint why they matter. So, why is this research important and why does it matter for families living with spina bifida? First, this research brings us one step closer to understanding the causes for spina bifida, which could lead to better diagnosis, treatments, and possibly prevention in the future. Second, it highlights the potential benefits of genetic testing. Now that we know which genes are involved, we might one day predict which pregnancies are at higher risk or even develop treatments to help prevent spina bifida. Most importantly, this study reinforces something critical. Genetics plays a big role, and understanding this can help families feel more empowered. Of course, we are just getting started. So, what's next in spina bifida research? While this study revealed many important genetic factors, there's still a lot we don't know. Next, we will be using even more powerful techniques like whole genome sequencing and stem cells to continue uncovering spina bifida's genetic roots. The ultimate goal is to turn these discoveries into real-world solutions that improve the lives of children and families affected by spina bifida. Lastly, we couldn't have done it without the amazing families who participated in this study, the Spina Bifida Association, clinicians around the world, and our funding agencies. We sincerely thank you for being a part of this journey. If you're interested in getting involved, learning more, or staying up to date on new discoveries, check out our link tree dash spina bifida sequencing for our webpage or contact us at gleasonlab at health.ucsd.edu. And maybe together we can unlock the mysteries of spina bifida one discovery at a time. Thank you for watching.